One of the more specific traits of the Antichrist, as described in the Bible, is how he will magnify himself above others, even to the point of considering himself to be a god. We are taught that in a couple different places, such as Daniel 11.36, which speaks of how he will magnify himself above every god and speak blasphemies against the god of gods. In addition, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 talks about how the Antichrist will sit in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. So these things all point to one specific trait of the Antichrist, which is his extraordinary ego. There are simply no bounds to what he thinks of himself and how he wants others to think of him. About eight years back, I started doing some research into some of the ways that the Bible described the Antichrist, and this was just after Donald Trump had won the election. I had the initial feeling that something was wrong with Trump, but I couldn't quite figure out what it was at the time. But as my understanding got better on what the Bible said, I began to believe back in late 2016 and early 2017 that, indeed, Donald Trump lined up with the biblical Antichrist. One of my first convictions that Trump would be that man centered around the fact that the Antichrist has an extreme ego, and Donald Trump's ego is so off the charts that it's impossible to find anyone else in his league, someone who will congratulate themselves and praise themselves and require others to do the same. Deep down, Donald Trump has shown a desire to be worshipped, and he constantly surrounds himself with people who do just that. If you ever look at his Truth Social page, for some reason, you'll notice that over and over again, he is posting comments from other people praising him such as a book about his economic miracle in his first term, or his sidekick Stephen Miller saying President Trump's Bloomberg interview was the greatest live interview any political leader or politician has done on the economy in our lifetimes. Trump will post comments from Mark Levin saying that he handled an interview with great temperament, skill, and substance, extremely impressive. Or one of his hardcore MAGA fans saying that the Trump interview was something only he could have done. 60 minutes of dominance. He even posts comments from those who are not conservatives, talking about him making a brilliant move by going back to Butler. And Trump returns the flattery when people praise him, such as this post of his, when he thanked Pastor Cory Books, Pastor Robert Jeffers, Father Gerald Murray, and Julian Anderson King, a powerful Christian influencer, for their strong and unequivocal support. And by strong and unequivocal support, Donald Trump means that these people praised him nonstop. To most of us, it can be very difficult to understand how anyone could have an ego so outsized that they desire and need constant praise on a daily basis. And yet, in light of the fact that Donald Trump also matches the other descriptions for the Antichrist, his over-the-top ego proves that he is an extremely rare person capable of one day proclaiming himself to be God, just like the Antichrist will do. Because if it comes right down to it, would it really be that much of a surprise? Would it really shock us that much to hear Donald Trump say that he has saved the world? Or rather, would it be perfectly in line with how Donald Trump has been acting all along?